So, good afternoon. Our research topic is harassment cases among guests and hotel employees of Maria Cristina in Indian City. A study analysis for a safety measurement. And I'm Marofia Babo. I'm Maria Mayeno. And I'm Yolata Wendell Marie. We researchers conducted a, sur a survey on sexual harassment and the causes and consequences of this case to the victims and to totally understand the significance between harassment and the work, work outcomes of job satisfaction, job stress, and intention to quit in an organization. So in doing so, we researchers studied the concept and events that is happening in a workplace and how the victim handles situations like this and how did it affect to their lives and to their work. And we also propose that this study can improve understanding to the often reported yet neglected case regarding um, relationship between sexual harassment and job dissatisfaction, job stress, and potential to quit. This study shows that awareness is very important because we all know that awareness is better than cure. So, we also know that sexual harassment is a common social conflict which is commonly happen everywhere like in a workplace, school, uh, public area, and even in the internet. This is also a, a form of discrimination based on sexual nature. And our paper focuses on the victims of sexual harassment in a workplace, specifically establishments like hotel and we choose the establishment for the Christina for our research. So we conducted a survey in line with our research topic and the respondents of it was the employee, employees and some guests of Maria Christine Hotel. As we go on with our research, it will give us information and enlightenment that this is not an easy case. It may it may be hard to the part of the victims and may deprive their dignity and equality among, other, among others. It can also affect the it can also affect victim maybe and the effect of it to the victim may be long term and serious. So we've included the scope and limitation of this research for us to know to what extent is this research and to what its limits are. The limitations of this study, it aims to discuss the different kinds of sexual harassment that is happening in the workplace, specifically in Maria Cristina, among the guests and employees of the hotel. Furthermore, this study also points out the negative effects of it. To what extent does it affect their day-to-day -day living and how it has a great impact on their work ethics? And um, this research paper, its purpose, its main reasons are to raise awareness and inform victims of such, such behaviors for them to know what must be done and to what extent or extreme measurements should be taken seriously. Methodology. This research paper discusses thoroughly the rampant yet unrecognized act of unethical work behaviors, which is in this case sexual harassment, through questionnaires that were answered by the concerned population. This study evaluates the gathered details that are based on individual perception. The guests and the, the guests and the employees we're not able to answer the questionnaires because when we gave them our questionnaires and we were about to um, get it the next day, the front office said that uh, they lost it and um, instead of giving those questionnaires, we requested that if, if they could allow us to interview some of their employees, so they give us their approval. And in addition, their statements will strengthen the immensity of the sexual assaults that are experienced by the majority of the concerned and involved employees and guests in Maria Cristina Hotel. And for their well-being, names would be mentioned in this paper because as we know, the topic of this research is very 
um, sensitive and it is highly important that we should keep the names of, the, of those involved confidential. So what is sexual harassment? Uh, to know the different kinds of sexual harassment, we must first know what is sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is anything that is unwelcome, verbal, visual, or physical conduct of a sexual nature that is severe or pervasive. It means that um, any act that will offend you in a way that it will, um, it is sexual in nature and it offends you, it is a con it is concluded as a sexual harassment. And also, in sexual harassment, this is where the superior, superiors practice their superiority, um, their superiority, and superiority is what fuels the form of quid pro quo in sexual harassment. Quid pro quo is also known as this for that. Quid pro quo is an act of asking someone a favor in return to give them something back. In this case, sexual favors. One example of this is when you are invited by your superior, you're invited on a date and you did decline it, he will blackmail you or he will say to you that if you won't come, I will fire you or if you come, I'll promote you. That is an example of quid pro quo. Though the sexual harassment are then divided into three types, verbal form, visual form, and physical form. The importance of knowing the differences of these three is very crucial in the sense that you will also determine what kind of sexual harassment is happening to you. So in verbal form, it includes comments about clothing, sexual or gender-based jokes or remarks, requesting sexual favors or repeatedly asking a person out, threats, foul or obscene languages. In visual form, it includes pictures, drawings and posters that is obscene in nature, screensaver, cartoons, emails or text with sexual content. And in physical form, it includes assault, impeding or blocking movement, staring or leering, inappropriate touching, such as kissing, hugging, patting, stroking, rubbing, and of course, sexual gesturing. The, different, the importance of knowing these kinds of sexual harassment is very neglected because we don't quite recognize that we are harassed. And that is what the employees are experiencing in Maria Cristina Hotel. They don't know that even with just a simple, hey sexy, that is a sexual harassment. Furthermore, the lack of awareness and misunderstanding with regards to this topic will just aggravate the current situation if not taken seriously and will continue to expand if the wrong perceptions will not be exterminated. So even though if we conducted this research and we aim to raise awareness, if those people who are guilty of uh, this kind of acts will um, misunderstand this research and they will perceive it as a way of attacking them, it is not quite right that instead of us raising awareness and conducting this research, they, they get it as a negative feedback to them. This awareness starts from the identification of the forms of their verbal, visual, and physical forms of such current problems. So it is really important to know the differences of these three and how it is related to sexual harassment so that we would know that if we are uh, sexually harassed, we should know that and we are quite aware of what will happen and we should warn others of what is going to happen to them if they are not aware of such doings. The next is the result of discuss discussion. We discuss, we, we discuss about the amount of sexual harassment experience employees and guests inside Maria Cristina. It's more prevalent as it continues to exist 
through time. And even now, cases of harassment with the application of quid pro quo is still prevalent. A series of interviews were conducted in Maria Cristina and we received only few replies, many of which responded with agreement to rampant issue that is present in the establishment. One of the first, one of the person we interviewed was a female room attendant. She stated that, yes, ma'am, na ajud mga guests sa high na mag take advantage. We also asked if she experienced same things from her superiors. And replied, one time na to nahita bu ma, iya kung giagda mag date in exchange, iya kung indoors in a higher position. She thought about it for a few days, but she declined the offer. A day later, she was she was the topic of heresy. Mean and unkind words were spoken out her by some hateful co-workers. This kind, this kind of predicament in the hotel, if it was not for the fact that she needs to support herself. In addition to this. She also shared how she was close to feeling depressed and having anxiety. Surely, circumstances like this are far-reaching and are needed to put into a home. On one occasion, another room attendant said that a guest in this mid-40s also called us sexy. And she asked as if it is counted as a sexual assault. We said yes. I told to her about the different forms of sexual harassment. She listened carefully and said that it was it would greatly help her. Next, the conclusion. This conclusion, this study discusses how proven it is that the sexual harassment among the employees and guests of Maria Cristina Hotel is subsisting. This claim is proven valid by the series of interviews conducted by the researchers with its respondent. Employees of Maria Cristina and some guests from the said establishment. Addis additionally of this, this study discloses the reason to why cases of sexual harassment among the employees and guests is elegant due to the very evident fact that the superiors can easily manipulate their subordinate and rewards to subordination is raised among few of the employees with the pressure they have to base their work and position a bar higher. So in recommendation, Employers should secure the guests and employees. They should also educate and empower their employees in legal issues. So, the main reason why the subordinates feel that they are sexually harassed is also because of the employers. They are not aware of what is happening with their subordinate, and they take their power as um, they take their place as they are the more superior kind. So that's why they make their subordinates. Um, do things that they don't want because uh, in their perception, they are more powerful than them. So uh, this thought is not right and employers should and would 
should and would do things that would make their empl employees feel good about themselves. So they should also educate and empower their employees in legal issue with respect to sexual harassment. Issue that can help them defend their constitutional rights. They should know, the employee should know what are their rights as an employee. Because we all know that in this country, laws are a vital component that helps determine how people perceive, behave, and honor each other. These laws make employers responsible, responsible for the working conditions their employees are exposed to and remove obstacles that can hinder their fair treatment to workers. So, what should employers do? First of all, employers should monitor their workplace. Monitor, monitoring their workplace shall ensure that every, every crook and cranny Every corner of that hotel is working properly and wholesomely with peace and order intact. Second, they should educate people to avoid sexually offensive behavior. So, the employers educate their subordinates that it is a proper thing to do if you should act properly in front of other person because um, one perception when a perception gets out and uh, that other person will uh, have an idea from you, they will greatly be encouraged to do the things that you are doing. So if, they, if you persuade them to do good things and not, um, and not act sexually that can, uh, uh, that can offend your co-workers, it will be a, such a great help. And third, you should establish procedures to address sexual harassment issues and to achieve problem and grievance resolution. <clears throat> In this part, they should um, they should do things that, for example, they should have training seminars for their uh, employees to know their rights. They should have um, they should have a team building in which they can. Um, outburst their emotions towards their co-workers to avoid uh, subordination and feel that they are equal one each one of them and the most important thing employers should take complaints seriously because this uh, we have concluded that this is the most important thing because uh, this topic is very sensitive as we know it and we should take it seriously for the thought that you could do with other people's life For example, if one employee reported to you that they are sexually offended like um, a certain co-worker of them um, Asked them for a date and you laughed it out They would easily be um, degraded and think of you as a person with no regards to this kind of this kinds of topic. We have to the references and citations which in this reference we have included the law which would stop and avoid this kind of sexual harassment in the workplace. So in the Philippines there is a special law for this case, a law intended for sexual assaults in the workplace. So it is Republic Act Number 7877 of the 1987 Constitution, which was signed by Maria Corazon Cuanco Aquino. In this act, this is stated that declaring sexual harassment as an unlawful and in the employment, education, or training environment, and for other purposes. So, if you if you feel that you are sexually harassed verbally, visually, or physically, um you could sue that person with this act and um, it is safe to say that really awareness is better than cure because if you are aware of these kinds of things you don't need to cure any sickness in the, in the community so appendices uh, HTTPS um, these were the references which we uh, have searched through for the ideas and the uh, inter the persons we interviewed we kept it anonymous for them to be safe from the uh, for their names to be confidential. Thank you.